We have some new exciting updates to the Curves to Tubes, Cards, and Twists Manager. Here, I have a few tube layers created. As you can see, the UI is updated completely. On the top, we have the information box. This will allow you to tell which layer of the selected tube geometry is in, so you can find the editor respectively. A UI size toggle is also added, when the layers gets long, you can expand the UI to see all the layers. A few updates are also made to the editor to fasten your workflow, we will take a look at them now. You still have all the settings as before. Changing the settings in the global tab will apply the values to all the tubes in this layer. As before, going into the target tab, you will be able to adjust the settings per tube. When we select another tube geometry in the layer, the settings will now reflect on your current selection automatically. Let's take a look at another update with target tab and the global tab. I am going to make some scale adjustment to a few tubes in the target tab. When any adjustment is made in the target tab, the global setting of those attributes will be locked. To unlock it, middle mouse click on the grayed out area. Please note, when you unlock an attribute, the setting will overwrite to all the geometries. Just to show you more of this update, I am going to change a few more settings in the target tab. Basically, if there's any change in the target tab of a layer, the global setting of that layer will be locked. This includes the ramps as well. You can see that now we cannot adjust the ramp globally. Middle mouse click on the text to unlock it. Let's go back to the main UI. You can now right click on a layer to expose more functions. When your project gets more complicated, you can also choose to rename the layer. Now, when you select a geometry, the information box will reflect the renamed layers as well. Another major update is now that you will have the ability to add a curve to existing layers. When you do that, the global setting will be applied to the curve. Here, I am just renaming the layer, adjusting the global settings, and adding more curves for the curves at the back. Additionally, you will now have the same layer controls as the guide color tool. To remove multiple layers, you can now control or shift click on layers and then click on the X button. If you undo with control Z, click the refresh button to bring back the layers in the UI again.